Hey parties! I hope you can hear me. Zeus is uh, acting strange today. He's driving me insane. Oh yeah, say hi to the Pisces. <laughs> um, so these readings will not be extended. I am still uploading. Everything is just doing this uh, when I'm trying to upload longer videos. So I'm trying to upload the October, November, December readings um, for Patreon. But I'm going to be doing the extenders every fortnight for YouTube onto Patreon. So if you want the Patreon, the link to my Patreon is in the description box below. Also my website for one-on-one -on -one readings, etc. Um, so I'm going to start. Let me just move the giant cat. So I've got some space. Uh, this week I'm going for the empowerment cards, my empowerment cards, because I just feel like the energy is just skewed. If you follow me on Facebook, I put a post on last night about this noise in my ears and the migraines and stuff that I've been having since Saturday. But the noise has been really accumulated for the last two days. It's just like this whooshing, really high frequency. I'm staring at my animals like, seriously, you can't hear that? Like, it's doing me head in. I've had my ears done, so it's not my ears. Um, and I was quite shocked at how many, I think there were like 40 odd people straight away on it saying, that, oh my God, thank God, it's not just me. So there's definitely a frequency and uh, thing going on. Um, as I've been saying, I've been saying it for months, October and November are going to be wacky energies. Uh, it's like I've had these warnings and whenever I meditate on it, all I keep getting is, don't worry, just watch. That's all I get. They are the only words I get. Don't worry, just watch. So whatever's happening, <laughs> it's like... Uh -uh. We're on the, we've got the solar eclipse, uh, we're on the solar eclipse, we're on the Libra new moon, it's just nuts. So I'm going straight in with the empowerment. Main energy is Lilith Pisces, well everyone knows, I love Lilith. Um, Lilith, the divine feminine, the dark divine feminine, and when I say dark I don't mean evil. Um, dark is the things that we cannot see, it's the intuition, it's the energy, it's frequency. You know, it's it's secrets. It's everything that we cannot see in the dark. That's where the divine, fe the dark part of the divine feminine comes in. Um, it's pure energy. So that's when they say, like, you know, a woman goes into a dark feminine when it's like seductress energy. It's dark. You can't tell the, you know, you can't see it. You can feel it. Um, so Lilith comes out, Parsis, when we are going through a time, a period when we are finding ourselves, when we are finding our words, when we are learning to say no, when we are not, no longer putting up with things. You know, Lilith was exiled for saying no. Um, she didn't follow the rules that someone was putting down on her. Um, she carries the serpent because the serpent sheds a layer of skin as it grows. It's got to shed. And it's almost like, passes. You, you may be feeling constricted, you may be feeling confined, um, you may be feeling claustrophobic even though you're not claustrophobic you know like just with people around you or the world in general there could be like a claustrophobic energy that I'm picking up around Pisces at the minute it could be with that Pisces full moon that we did have though so Lilith is the protector she protect, She gives us that energy to protect ourselves what's challenging you Pisces is to get up and use it the queen has all the tools that she needs the queen, the king, whether you're a masculine or a feminine watching this we, the queen has all the tools that she needs. You know, a scales of balance. She's got candles just in case the light goes out. You know, a sword. It's hung up on the wall. She's not actually fighting, but if she needs to, it's there. It's within reach. I put animals on this card, because, and especially birds, the owl and the crow, because birds have this bird's eye view. You know, they can see things that are coming. They can see. It's using your intuition again. But the queen is sat there. She looks like she's waiting for something. So, Pisces, you may be actually sat there feeling like, I can feel something's coming, but I just don't know what it is. I feel like Spirit is saying, get up and get it. If you want something right now, get up and get it. You know, it's not going to knock on your door, even if you're manifesting. There's still an energy of having to align into them frequencies in order to get something. Why is it coming right now? Pisces, we are fixing past heartbreaks. Any karmic contracts, you know, that have hurt, any abuse, and you know, especially with Lilith being there, and um, if there's been abuse, if there's been emotional abuse, especially, um, we are fixing past heartbreak. So this is, Libra New Moon is giving you a period of healing, um, new heart, well, new, I won't say new, 
old heart rates may come back to the surface, but it's only happening in order to release it so that you can process through those emotions. See, your third act, see, this is exactly why I'm linking with the birds there. You are seeing the bigger picture, Pisces. You may be sat there thinking about certain things and why is this coming up now? It's coming up to be released. Like, are you looking back over certain stories? Like, well, what if I'd have said this? And what if I'd have said that? That's you coming into alignment with your own thoughts and thinking, if I'm ever put back in that situation, I will say this, I will do this, I will... You know, you're standing in your power. You're coming, you're kind of forming into your power. So don't see it as a regret. I didn't do this. I didn't. It's because we were going through a learning curve. The third eye chakra is showing you the bigger picture of things and what you can have. Uh, you've got all my birds. Birds going to be relevant for you this week, Parsees. So uh, some of you may have a little bird chipping at your window. You may be feeding the birds. There may be some kind of like interaction with a bird we've got the owl the crow and now we've got my magpie magpies tell secrets whenever i see one magpie i know i'm going to get told something i am going to get told something whether it be by spirit or whether it be by human and um, i'm going to get told something i'm going to get some kind of information i don't do the one for sorry two for gold and all that stuff the more magpies i see that's when it freaks me out that's when i know a big something big is coming especially into my life um so i'm happy when it's one or two <laughs> i'm happy when it's one or two because i'm finding out something so elijah is one of my guards elijah is actually bland um from what i see of him i've never seen his ass he always has his ass shut um but it's like he communicates with me through magpies so when i see magpies i meditate on elijah Elijah is my more logical sense of thinking. Um, when I meditate and link with Elijah, it's about thinking logically. And I like that energy because the queen is very logical. You know, she's got the book, she's got all her knowledge combined, her journals, her diaries. The sword is up, but it's there. She can grab it. The scales are balanced. You know, the emotional, the logical, it's that type of energy. This week, you are kind of like balancing the emotional and the logical. So it's like, yeah, that's happened and that really hurt me. And then you're kind of looking at the logical reasons to it, to why you reacted in a certain situation the way you did or why that person did. It's like you're trying to find the answers um, in that. And I do feel like you will receive answers this week, Parsees, to something that's been playing on your mind. Because towards the end of the week, so when I'm saying the end of week, I'm, turn, I'm going towards the end of next week, um, for you because I'm doing your readings this week on a Thursday because I was supposed to do them yesterday but I got way led because I have my grandchild but we've got gardens you've been guided somewhere so it's like you don't need all the answers the future is dark no you don't know exactly where you're going but every step forward is illuminated because you've got your spiritual lantern so there's nothing to actually fear from going forward you're being guided towards something you're being guided towards somebody you're being guided by somebody We've, if you can see there, I don't know if you can see, there is a silhouette in the light. You know, you're being guided towards someone. So if this is like, say, the heartbreak is loneliness, you know, you are being guided towards somebody. If you are feeling claustrophobic in life and everything's stuck, and you, you know, you are being guided. You're being guided by spirit to find that way out of that dark forest. You know, you've got that spiritual lantern. It's like they're almost in front of you saying, follow, come here, like, come towards me. I absolutely love it. It's definitely a spiritual garden this week for my parties. Your power this week is my trunk card. Congratulations. You've been giving you energy wings. It's now time to use the gifts and strengths that these wings carry to provide guidance and empowerment to yourself and others. Your experiences are your qualifications. See, it's it's like you're looking back over all negative experiences, but you're, you're doing it from a more logical stance. This is what I've experienced. This is how I would deal with that now. Blah, blah, blah. You know, so you may find yourself in a position this week, Parsees, where you are actually advising somebody on a situation that you have been in in the past and what you would do different. Okay. So watch out for that. It's a very logical, very, it's very spiritual. It's definitely spiritual guidance, but you are being guided to guard, if that, if that makes sense. The outside influence. It's while you're doing your own healing. 
Yeah, the outside influence is about letting go. So she can sit on that swing. She can look at all the stuff in the past. It can't hurt her. It's there. It's dead. It's buried. You know, there's a graveyard there. It's on fire. It's burnt. She's set it all on fire. It cannot hurt her anymore. But she can look over it. She can look towards it. She's sitting on the swing like, what have I learned from that situation? What did I learn from that person? What did I learn from this? What did, you know, she, it's a very, I love it. I feel like past this, I feel like you should be journaling this week. I feel like you should be putting your thoughts down on paper uh, because I do feel like you'll venture back to it. In your hopes and fears position, you've got the phoenix rising back from the ashes. So you may feel like you are on burnout at the moment. You are not. You're not on burnout. It may feel like you are. Be careful that you don't go to burnout. But I don't feel a burnout. I feel like it's more the energy changes, the energy shifts, like I was saying at the beginning, my head, my ears, everything is just like so much here at the moment. It's the energies. Uh, the phoenix rises back from the ashes. And I feel like towards next week, you start making this like kind of comeback because your outcome is divine protection. It is your spirit guard stepping in. You are being protected. I also feel like you're being protected from past memories, you know, in order to like, allow yourself to face them, allow yourself to kind of logically analyse like past situations because I don't feel like it's about going back into the feeling of it. I feel like it's about analysing it, learning what's coming from that and how you're going to shift it and how you're going to use it forwards. Past is you're definitely showing as um, like a counselling energy and it's more like you do your work and it's going to have a ripple effect on the people around you and they're going to see how you're doing things. Uh, you know, I do feel like you are going to get some information this week. I kind of feel like it is from spirit. Uh, it could be from another person, but if a person comes up to you and says something really random, it's always spirit trying to pass that message to you anyway. So I shall see you next week, okay?